Kiti, Makofi, Thank you very much. Please be seated. Um, our spiritual fathers, the chief principal and the teaching staff, our cabinet secretary for education, our cabinet secretary for roads and transport, the governor of Kiambu, the governor of Migori, our leader of majority in the National Assembly, the Honorable Kimani Chungwa, and the Member of Parliament for this area, the Fraternity of the Alliance. Good afternoon. God is good. And all the time. Isalimeni koheo bwana yesu wa sifiwe. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe tena. You know it's very difficult to speak when everybody has spoken. Because naturally we talk about the same things. So when you have five, ten speakers before you, you find you'll be repeating what they have said. You know, President William Ruto asked me, he was supposed to come here today, but because of exigencies of duty down at the coast, he was not able to come. And he summoned me from the Republic of Italy, where I was attending the Food Systems Summit and ask me to represent him here. And the people who worked for me had a great difficulty last night because they thought that it's inappropriate for me to talk at the Alliance without a written, written speech because I could mix myself up. <laughs> so, two challenges mingi, ya accent ya nyeri <laughs> tuko na shida ya l and r ya ch and sh and all that but because there was no time for them to write a speech because i arrived late at night nikasema bas wacha niende ningangane ile tatokea tutangangana naye you know <laughs> My younger brother and friend and my in-law, the Honorable Kemani Ichungo, intimidates me and the president all the time about the alliance. He can't even let us have a cup of tea. Every discussion we have in the middle of the discussion, he reminds us that he was at the alliance. So I was asking him today, when we went to the old school, and I found beds that are very aged, cracked walls. Sasa nika muliza hii alazu na tuwabehanga diyo hii. So, so, I have come here and I'm not intimidated. Because my brother Kemani wants to intimidate me. But we are also grateful to this institution for being a good role model and mentoring our leader, Kemani Ichungwa. The president and I are very proud of Kemani Ichungwa. He is a polished debater in the National Assembly. And he pushes government agenda with passion and commitment. And since he took that job, we have not lost a single debate, including the finance bill. So, kama yu diyo matuda alliance, na mutolea kofia. Kwa hivyo, tumekuja hapa kusema kwa niyabe a rais wetu, William Ruto, we came to this great school, a great institution that has mentored many people. Many people who came through this school are serious people who have made significant contribution to our country's development. And I want to say, because I know many people who have come through this school, there's something good about this institution. The way our CS Mukomen has said, the values, the traditions, 
the ethics. And we have come here on behalf of the president to support this school in what you want to do to continue building on the greatness of this institution to be a conveyor belt of finesse and great people and great minds. And from what I have listened here, when I just, just assess the air, the environment around here, there is greatness in this institution. And the president and I and the rest of us will do whatever we need to do to support this institution. But I did tell uh, the Honorable Kemani Cho, Ata kama shule yangu ajulikane sana, ata mimi si mchache. <laughs> Najua, it may be the alliance, but they are also the congress of this alliance. Eh. Yeah. Mimi mutu tu ya kawaida tu. Niliingia hii alliance gao si. Nikakuta mtoto ya mwenyewe nikachanganya yeye nikamweka box sasa ni bibi yangu. Sasa. Sasa. Niko mbele si mbele. Eh? As we speak your principal wanachomba was my schoolmate in Kenyaga High School. So, if Chomba went to school with me, and he is the one running this school well, there is something about where I went to school. Pia mimi mwenyewe, kwa sababu, nitaka kuja hapa lakini maxi yangu yukakua chini. Najua mimi ni mutu ya kusema ukweli. Sini muzuri kusema ukweli. Ya kuilikuwa chini. Lakini nimekangana badae, sasa mimi ya mchomo asbusu. Mimi ni bozi ya ijoma. Hata na hiyo maksi yangu kidogo, mimi diyo bozi yake. <laughs> mimi mwenyewe, my own son. I educated him, nika ungelesha ye, nika mwambia hiyo alliance, hiyo wanaringa juu yake, uende huko. And my son came here in 206, up to 2010. I've been here to a parents meeting. He passed with flying colors. He went to the University of Nairobi. He is a medical doctor. He is with me here. Doctor, Simama wewe. Agone. Sasa hii alazimu nasema hii. Mimi niko sawa. I'm okay. Please sit down. So, we want to say, let us build strong institutions for posterity. And the foundation of this school and its tradition is good. Again, this school is a reflection of the diversity of the Kenyan nation. This is one school where every county is represented. Every community in Kenya is represented. And I'm, I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that there is no ethnicity in this school. One time I was asking my son, you know me, I'm old school. I look at things the old way. I was asking him, this is my friend, we went to school, I said, hey, Kabila what is that all about? <laughs> the, the, peop, the students who have been through this school do not want to categorize people by their ethnic origins. And that is a good thing. And that is a Kenyan nation that we want to build. Where, irrespective of where you come from, you are Kenyan. And I was in Italy, I was in Dubai, I met Kenyans, and they are all proud to be Kenyans. Nobody cares which part of this country you come from. And therefore, the national institutions that we have, I know when I was a member of parliament, even Mweshimuwa Kemani Chongwa here and Wamachukuru and the rest, members of parliament sometimes are a bit reluctant to put CDF money in national institutions because they do not benefit their constituents. But there is a bigger goal, the national goal, 
that that school brings cohesion. It brings wealth of diversity where Kenyans from every corner meet and exchange ideas, exchange traditions and customs and languages. So in Alliance, the Alliance, we are doing well. Alliance girls, I'll come there. I'm under pressure from Pastor Dokas, AKA the spouse with the deputy principal. We, she came there and found that you have a very beautiful chapel, but there are no chairs. And she has persuaded me very strongly to buy chairs for that chapel. And I have said, fine, but we have to have a certain arrangement with her. You know where I come from? Dowry payment is a continuous process. <laughs> you pay throughout until the end of your life. So the chairs I'll buy pastor, I'll have to call the elder so that we put it as part of the dowry I'm supposed to pay you. <laughs> so that here uh, they send you. So we'll come to Alas Gauss. We'll have some support for you. And I'll come. And you are principal, is a friend of mine. She was the uh, principal of Tomotomo Gauss when I was uh, Member of Parliament for Madeira, a very fine principal, and I'm sure she will do what she needs to do in that school. So, Nitakuja, Kuleta Viti, na Tunaleta Usaidisi. You have asked many things, and uh, you have asked for additional computers, about 300 so that you can be tech compliant. We have consulted with the CS Education and the CS ICT. For the time being, we'll give you 100 computers. You have asked for a dining hall. You have asked for extra classrooms and houses for teachers. We have agreed with P.S. Hinga, who is an old boy of this school, that he'll provide quite a substantial amount of money to do the dining. <laughs> to do a brand new hostel of 600 boys. And a teacher's block to allow the teachers to live with the cop out to see how you are going. <laughs> to the tune of 300 million Kenya shillings. <laughs> you have asked, you have said you have a water problem. And it's true as we walked here with the spouse to the deputy principal. <laughs> we were discussing about the dryness of the compound. And it's true, it is obvious, you didn't even have to say that there's a water problem. And we have agreed with the PS Engineer Rono that we will do for you in the next one month a borehole driven by solar to bring down the cost of electricity. Uh, you are parent here the Honorable Kipchumba Mukomen, the lecturer to Governor Ayako. <laughs> we have agreed that he will look for funds to complete the perimeter wall and do all the inner roads to Cabro Standard. <laughs> and we have agreed that uh, since it's expensive and you know we are struggling, We'll do an arrangement with the National Youth Service. We'll provide the materials, they'll provide the labor so that it's cheaper. And it's done very quickly. So, Kipchumba Asanda Sana. 
I have not heard how much Mwashimua Kemani Chumwa wants to put from CDF. You must put some money, my brother. Gabi, what Yeah, Gabi? Abana? Abana? No, 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 no. Adi, I'm going to say, Matano, I'm going to say, President William Ruto, my boss, and the President of Kenya, has directed the Minister of Education to give 50 million shillings to this school so that you see the board will sit down and decide the priority areas. But I think we are doing well. Water we have, perimeter wall we have, the roads we have, we have a hostel, we have teacher's block. Mwashimua Kemani will give uh, 10 million. I think we are not doing badly. So we'll give you 50 million shillings this financial year. And next year, we'll put another 50 million from the national government. So, I think our coming here was not in vain. Na Pia Bijana, I talked to the captain here. And Kipchuba uh, Mukomen, I think you, know, you need to know our traditions. Where, where? Was Chana Ichungwa? You know our um, Minlo to Ichungwa. How would you market them without permission from us? <laughs> listen and listen good. Those girls are not available to anybody for the next 10 years. <laughs> we want them to be women of substance, to be leaders in this country. So, where on Azema or Lever, you were taught on Wabagia Manokuba Sana? Where would Taliba find them, Kipchumba? Don't listen to Kipchumba. He is misleading you. Wherever Kipchumba, come out on a Musiana, you come here, Utangaze. Avana Tagaza. I think I talked to the captain, and because I'm here, boys, Simonajua Mimi Nimutu Yaju Chini to Nailawa Mabumingi. Simonajua Mina Elawa Maneno. Nipanga manano kidogo ya bash kidogo. <laughs> eh? Nipanga manano. Hii watu ya lanza wezi yelewa. Mimi nimepima pima hapa tu nikikaa hapa kwa sababu mini muti ya huko chini. Nimesikia munataka a special meal ya kuku and chapati. So. <laughs> kwa hiyo. Kwa hiyo, nitawacha 500,000 shillings Kwa hiyo, maneno ya chapati na kuku na maneno ingine So, sendio Alliance Gauss musijali, simi nakuja eh, Nitakuja huko, wakuna shida Once I come, I'll come loaded So finally, nataka tuwakote pesa harambe Yakujenga chapel. Before we do that, my brother Governor Ayako, I've heard you. The preacher for the day, Bishop Mulwa, explained to us the truth as a man of God. That during this mandamano, stones were being demanded that for you to pass, you must have a stone. I don't think those stones were for eating. Ama ya kupeleka sadaka kanisani. Iyo mawe ilikuwa ya kupiga wakenya wengine. Na ile kubwa ya kupiga polisi wetu. And I want to say, from the alliance here, I want to commend our police officers at IG Kome and the very able leadership and strategic guidance of Professor Kithule Kendiki for the professional manner in which they, hire, they handled that administration. The policemen never went to anybody's home. You came with the stones and rocks to stone them. What did you expect them to do? You stone policemen? There is a saying, Kikwetu, I don't know whether it is here in the alliance, Usitupe Maya police. You see, you know it. Police. And I want to ask our leaders to know 
that these policemen are also human beings and they are Kenyans. That police officer is somebody's husband. That police officer is a son or a daughter to somebody. That police officer is a sister or a brother to somebody. I have heard human rights bodies condemning police. Our policemen were injured. Others are in hospital. Not a single leader, not a single organization has stood to say that it is wrong to injure and hurt police officers. Kwa ni police ni watoto ya nani? Hata hawa ni watoto ya mama. I want to say, if you come to the streets with the stones to destroy property, to steal, to loot, to stone policemen, they will deal with you accordingly. And I want to assure the National Police Service as Deputy President and Principal Assistant to the President, carry on with the good job you are doing. You are protected and no harm will come to you. That situation we saw the other Wednesday, are you telling me we were to allow that to go on? When hooligans, arsonists came to Mombasa Road to uproot a road that has been built with the taxpayers' money, when they were stoning vehicles and demanding for you to pass, you must pay an extortion fee, when they were snatching earrings from our women, and you are telling us the police should have stayed at the police station and allowed that mayhem and chaos to continue? Not in this country. This is a country of the rule of law. And, and it's only when the police, under the guidance of Professor Kindiki, made a decision to deal firmly and decisively with that chaos, these demonstrations came to a stop. Those policemen have gone nowhere. They are in the police station waiting. If you don't invite them, they will remain in the police lines. If you invite them to the streets, they will come. That's what they are paid to do. My brother, I'm sorry about that little discomfort that your guards were taken away. Do I take this opportunity to explain to you why? It's important that I do so that you understand. That chaos and mayhem that was in Nairobi that Wednesday for five hours, almost burning the country and bringing the country to a standstill. Then they announced that we'll have three days of that madness. We had to get prepared. We needed each and every police officer available for that work. Because the ones we had were not sufficient. And the very logical decision by Kindiki and IG Kome first get those ones, guarding those who are doing the demonstrations to come and protect the people of Kenya. Where did you want us to get other policemen from? We had to get them from somewhere. And you start with those who are guarding the people who are arranging the demonstration. That is what we did. And we have had you are going to have talks well and good. But since I have not seen a commitment that you denounce violence and give Kenyans undertaking that you not go back to the streets, those policemen will stay on standby for now. If in the next two, three months you are of good behavior, there is no demonstration, there is no chaos, we shall return the men to you to guard you. Lakini saa hii aweza gani? Kwa sababu tunaweza warudisha, warudi kwa hiyo maneno, si ndio? That is the truth. And I want to say the security of this country is not negotiable. It is not negotiable. President William Ruto and I took the Bible in Kasarani before God and men and so to protect the constitution, to protect life and property. We welcome talks. We welcome non-violent ways of resolving conflicts. That we do. But we are on standby. Once beaten, twice, we are on standby. 
if the talks mheshimiwa kemani muendelee muzikizane muendelee police warudi kwa kazi yao if there is change of heart sisi tuko tayari but i want to say today on behalf of president william ruto never again never again in this country shall we allow people to kill others and to destroy people's property it will not happen because it is wrong and it's not right nikimalizia nikiwa hapa kiambu i want to take this opportunity to thank the county commissioner the police commander and your team for the good job you are doing on fighting illicit brews and bangi pongezi we are almost 70% successful because we want to protect these young people. These are the young people we are protecting. When these young boys and these girls leave school, we don't want them to come and fight drugs and eat alcohol in the shops. So we are not even just dealing with the ones who are having it. We are protecting the future generation. Please sit down, Commissioner, and carry on a good job done. Sasa. Si tuchukue pesa kama iko. Na wale waliongea sana watoe pesa bila waliongea. <laughs>